I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Oh, perfect head kick there. Let's go. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch in the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach. Oh. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He went high on that one. Oh, nice counter punch there. Again, we talked about the reach advantage off the top of the show. Certainly paid dividends for him there. And he landed the right hand there. Just out of range with that right hand. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, bleeding from his cheek now. Damage done. Effective punch there by Anderson. 27 total strikes have landed for Corey Anderson. Under three minutes remain in round one. All right, throws a straight punch and lands, so that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him tonight. This is one of his best strikes. He's throwing it over and over again. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. He is all about that left kick to the body. What a punch. Big leg kick lands. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Just over two minutes to go. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is the technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Hook attempt now, blocked though by Anderson. Just misses with that one. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop throwing. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like the dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up, hit bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. Nice punch by Anderson. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. That right hand landed. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, man, that cut is getting worse by the minute. Looking ghastly at this point. Lee's head kick attempt, that one is blocked. 20 seconds left. 
Oh, and he just keeps on coming with these shots to the liver, looking to buckle him once again. Buckled him earlier in the fight, and the fighter is still open to damage there as he continues to target that sensitive area. Lands the right hand. No telestrator for the champ tonight, but that's okay. He'll still talk you through the replays. Body kicks for days, man. I mean, body kicks for days, but I gotta be honest, John. If we don't incorporate a telestrator <laughs> into this game, this may be my only version of EA UFC. Okay, round two, you ready? You ready? Let's go, fight! Anderson's shot there is blocked. Ooh, what a head kick. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Big punch land. Ooh. Nice one, two there. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Lee. Anderson gets hit by that kick to the body. Big kick lands. Oh, dude just got hooked by that uppercut. His chin went all the way up to the ceiling. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Three minutes remain in the round. Anderson gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Oh, man. This is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head at MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. He blocks the punch. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Just misses with the jab. Big ball from punch land. Now he gets back to range. Lee's got a big bruise starting to form on the right side of his body. Another straight left. Punch coming, it's blocked. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Ooh, head kick Lance was hurt. Overhand. Time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Slips to avoid that left. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Great punch.
over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Lee's punch to the body rejected there by the defense. Nice job by the opponent. 30 seconds to go. Oh, the cut on that cheek is only getting worse. His face is a mess. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Ten seconds. Big roundhouse now just misses. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this he round. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Nice straight punch. Straight right hand, no good. Big body kick land. Anderson gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. There's another one. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, big punch land. his opponent still stand. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Outstanding need the body there. He's the taller fighter. He might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. Yes, that he heard him in the last round. Same exact one. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his body? His opponent will likely continue to attack. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You should never be a stationary target, so even in the feet off, you gotta be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. Massive head kick! Blocks the shot. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to the knee. Well, missed on that one. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice body kick. Oh, nice. Oh, kick roll, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Oh! Good stick. Tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Oh, 
going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Anderson. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Ooh, big shot land. Big head kick land. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big head kick. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. That's three Here's rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, these are going to really start to take their turn. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watch. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Ah, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. Oh. Nice punch there by Lee. Anderson's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Anderson gets hit with a kick. Lee's head kick is blocked. Oh. Perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. So a seminal moment for him.